Well, I'm Simon Maxwell. Thank you all very much for coming. And it's a real pleasure for all of us to be able to launch the State of the Humanitarian System uh, report. It's been such a pleasure to see ALNAP growing and succeeding and flourishing over the last years. Um, uh, John tells me he celebrates his 10th year uh, in charge this month. I think that's worth a round of applause. <laughs> But ALNAP has become the indispensable matrix which holds now more than 70 organisations in humanitarian relief together and makes the bridge between the networking function, the analysis, uh, the research, the dissemination and the influence on policy. And we're going to hear a lot more about that um, as we look at this report. Uh, we're going to have a presentation briefly by John, then by Abby Stoddart, uh, and who's one of the authors, and then John as well will come back and do a longer uh, presentation of some of the content, so we'll hear a lot about the 250,000 people who work in the humanitarian system at present. Uh, then we have three discussants who'll speak in alphabetical order. Uh, Jane Cocking first, who runs the humanitarian team at Oxfam. Um, uh, then Mark Dubois, who runs MSF UK. And then David Pepiat, who is the international director of the Red Cross. And there will be plenty of time uh, for discussion. And to answer that question also, actually, how are we and what are we going to look like in five or ten years' time? There are going to be other launches uh, in Geneva, in New York, in New Zealand, in Australia and in Indonesia. But it's really important that we have this discussion here and it's a very good political moment. Uh, David Cameron, as you know, is one of the co-chairs of the uh, working group set up by Ban Ki-moon to look at the next generation of Millennium Development Goals. That's a really important moment at which to put social protection and resilience on the international agenda and to build a bridge between the development community and the humanitarian community. And Andrew Mitchell, the Secretary of State, has just been appointed uh, this week, I think, or maybe uh, late last week, as one of the chairs of the ministerial group that will follow up on the aid effectiveness meeting in Busan that was held at the end of, the la of last year, where they talked a lot about a new development partnership uh, including aid, but going beyond aid. And again, he'll be in a key position to develop one of his own uh, special interests, which is uh, resilience. Of course, the European Commission is also about to produce a policy paper on resilience, and Kristalina Georgieva is one of uh, Andrew Mitchell's resilience champions. So this is useful and it's interesting, and we're going to learn a lot, but it's also an opportunity for us to work together to influence the debate and to make sure that our humanitarian agenda gets on to the wider global agenda and that humanitarian space is protected, humanitarian principles followed, and so on. There'll be plenty of time here to discuss, but there's also a forum on the ALNAP website, and we encourage you to um, contribute to that. Um, I think that's all I need to say. We'll start straight away, John, please, with you.